Can someone please explain to me what hot girl summer is? I'm assuming it just means find the first decent looking rich dude that wants to pay attention to you. Go on their boat, get drunk, jump off the boat and look for some more buried treasure in a shipwreck because honestly all, all of these girls and women from my experience seem to be the same. Uh, let's see if we have some grade A nutritional knowledge in that hot girl summer brain of hers. So yes, we are back in LA and the first thing we did was get some groceries because guys, I thoroughly enjoyed myself in Costa Rica. It was a blast. Did I order room service every night and get brownie pizzas and sundaes and pizza delivered to the room after having dinner? Yes, I did. Yes, I certainly did. So we need to get back on track. We need to get healthy. With that said, it was so, so needed. I was so due for a break and just needed to really enjoy myself and relax. We still worked out. We were still super active. Working out makes me feel good. So I wanted to keep doing that. Unhealthy sugary food makes me feel not good. So we went and got some fun, healthy, amazing groceries. We now I've covered this before. If you have a base health knowledge, you know, what you think is a good diet and you constantly cheat on it, you go from hypothetically healthy to hypothetically unhealthy. But if you're in that cycle, you never really explore more about the healthy side because you're too busy thinking about good and bad instead of improving the good. You know, the reason these influencers don't actually have nutritional expertise is because they don't actually follow their own diets. First thing I'm pulling out is this lovely dragon fruit. Okay, so Greg selected this for himself. This has nothing to do with me, $8, but she's very beautiful. Perhaps. Because I'm a fire-breathing dragon. Next. I grabbed these Belinsky sage sausages. These are really cute and fun for breakfast. I love a good sausage. Two links is only 60 calories, so you could definitely eat like a decent amount of these for breakfast. Ah, sausage girl, after my own heart. Organic chicken sausages, not the best, not the worst. You remove some of the pollutant and agrochemical concerns, but even so, organic chicken tends to be very high in omega-6. And the problem with the chicken sausages is they do put a lot of the fat in it. So it is going to be particularly high in the inflammatory omega fatty acids. That being said, it's better than what we see most girls eating for breakfast. Breakfast, which is great. Have I had these before? Yes. Are they delicious? Yes. Did I have a bad experience with them one time? Yes. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if I ever shared this, but one time I got a bad batch of these sausages and they did have worms in them. And I noticed before I ate them, thank God. So me buying these is definitely a risk. It's been maybe three years since that happened, but they're honestly so good that I wanted to give it another shot. I'm assuming she just found some maggots in the sausage. There, there's no scenario where there's gonna be worms or parasites in, in that type of product. They wouldn't survive any of the processing or heating that the it goes through. But what could have happened is, you know, a fly could have laid eggs in the sausage. And it, I mean, I'm just speculating, but that's a, a weird thing to bring up and not give more details or pictures about it. Some standard Whole Foods guac. It is exploding because Greg dropped it out of the car. I want to have this with like shrimp. I want to do like a cauliflower rice burrito bowl. It's just a generic prepared food. You know, if you made a 100% organic avocado dip, is it healthy? It's not the end of the world. It's okay to have maybe once a week, but you know, that would be a little too expensive and a little too much effort for a hot girl summer. The mood for that. Here's our cauliflower rice, organic. Now, I've tried frozen stuff before, especially the vegetables, and they're just horrible, horrible tasting. I would imagine so many chemicals from the water they used to cook it, leaching in the bag, the processing, even if it's organic rice cauliflower that's frozen, yeah, it's better than what most people are eating, but just get the fresh stuff, make it yourself. It's gonna taste a lot better, you're gonna feel a lot better, and you're actually going to be healthy doing it. You know, if this is just something you wanna do on occasion, on the go, you're traveling once in a while, if your family's super lazy, that's the real reason to use something like this. Really, really good. Next, this is a unique purchase. I got some goat's butter. I'm really into goat cheese. It's really good for you if you're keto. Why is it good for you, babe? Okay, so goat cheese is really high in healthy fats. I believe it has a certain- <laughs> That's it, we could just end it here. She really has no clue what she's talking about. She's just repeating things she's heard from other people. Goat and sheep dairy can be 
easier on some people's stomachs because of the type of casein, uh, the feed the animals are getting is typically higher quality, but you want to go to a local farm, get high quality raw grass fed butter if you can. And just my personal opinion, anything that comes from a goat tastes horrible, whether it's the milk or the meat. Go for sheep, go for and cow. fatten it, you can only get from goats. So I saw this goat butter and I just, I had to. I love butter. Mm. Oh my God, it's from the UK. That is so cool. And Greg, isn't it the case that Hell goats are always butter. grass fed? Goats are, goat cheese is super high protein and has MCTs. Oh yes. I mean, if you made a list of the health benefits of butter, MCTs and omegas are nowhere on that list. You could talk about fat soluble vitamins. You could talk about certain fatty acids like butyrate. It has MCTs, that's why I like it. Then of course we got our usual pasture-raised eggs. There is a brand of eggs that I prefer called Happy Eggs. And we get those at Ear One, and those are the ones that are like bright red and you guys always ask where they're from. Those are really high quality. Oh my God. It's like they've fallen into the conventional marketing that these companies use because Vital Farms, Happy Eggs, they're both corn and soy fed chickens. Some of them use organic feed. Some of them use certain pigments and colorant foods to, to make the yolk deeper colored, but it's not actually a high quality egg. You know, this marketing and all this nonsense is the reason why hopefully within a year or two, I can get my own farm going and feed the animals truly high quality feed. Because when you go pay seven, eight, nine dollars a dozen for these eggs, you're not getting what you're paying for, especially if it's coming from a Whole Foods. And by the way, the quality of your eggs does matter. If you're right, getting expert. low quality eggs, you're not getting all the nutrients that you need. You want your chickens happy so the eggs are healthy. There's more of these, but I got a ton of my favorite yogurt, my Faye 2%. It's like, she's talking about high quality animal foods and she buys Faye 2% yogurt. It goes to show she has absolutely zero clue what she's talking about because there are decent brands of yogurt in the store that are full fat, grass fed, organic, probiotic blends, and the opposite of foggy nonsense. Foggy. Just one little <laughs> container. They should be paying me at this point the amount yeah, that I put this yogurt. 20 grams of protein in one small container. So I will bring this to the office with berries and that'll be a snack for me. So I had to get those. Raspberries, we know I love my berries. Organic always. Container. My favorite bacon. You guys ask what bacon I'm eating in the morning. It is the Applegate sugar-free. Got two. Look, this isn't bad. She's having some organic animal foods. They're not the best. They're not the worst. It's not something I would personally eat myself, but you know, she is getting in the animal protein despite it probably being full of estrogenic chemicals and some negative things like omega-6. Two packs of that. Big breakfast gal. Okay, we got two cheeses, a nice feta, yum, and then a seriously sharp from Cabot. We are a big sharp cheese fam. <laughs> I just don't get it. She goes from something decent to like conventional nonsense. I get a high quality raw cheese, something organic maybe, not Cabot and a generic Greek cheese. Aren't we, Greg? Boba. Greg. What? He can literally never hear what I'm saying. I said we're super into sharp cheeses. Oh, if it's not sharp, send it back. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Two things I'm really excited about. You know that you're getting lame and old when you get excited about groceries, okay? Birch Bender Keto Toaster Waffles. Wait, babe, we don't even have a toaster. I guess we're ovening them. Always wanted to try these. Sounds great with breakfast. Yum. I also got this. The one thing you gotta be really careful about in those waffles, even though it's not organic and there's probably a bunch of crap in them, is the fortified flour, which is gonna be full of things like iron filings and laboratory chemical vitamin extracts. You basically have to make a batter yourself, whether it's waffles or pancakes or anything you're trying to enjoy. It's really unfortunate that these companies try to cheap out and just use generic stuff. And then they use clever marketing and nice boxes to get you to buy something thinking it's healthy. Keto might be one of the worst culprits for that. You know, companies just using the keto marketing because it's low carbohydrate per serving, when in reality it's just standard American diet garbage. Lakanto sugar-free cookie mix, sweetened with monk fruit. It is keto. How cute, and all you add is coconut oil and- I mean, similar problem. Crappy, low quality ingredients. Oh, it's low carb, yet it's full of chemicals. 
almond milk. Oh my god, it's like a sugarless sugar cookie. I love sugar cookies. This will be fun for like the weekend or something. Looks like Greg got oats. I will not be having them. We've got a bunch of avocados. Everyone knows I love avocados. I tried to get some more green ones this time because I swear I'm always getting the brown. I won't talk too much about avocados. We did a whole video on them. Uh, you can search on my channel, are avocados healthy? Brown ones and they just go bad. Okay, a little bit of seafood. We have some wild caught shrimp, which is good for the shrimp fried cauliflower rice, which you guys love. If you haven't tried that recipe, it's on my reels, on my TikTok. That one blew up. You guys are loving that. And I love seeing you guys make our um, dishes at home. So keep tagging me. We got some wild Alaskan smoked salmon. Another thing I won't touch too much on, we have a video titled, is fish too toxic to eat? Basically, yes. Smoked salmon, tomatoes. And as you guys know, Greg insists that I have a carrot every morning for some un Tomatoes, carrots, just high flavonoid, high compound fruits and vegetables that aren't really giving you anything you need. You don't need the vitamins in them. They're not too high in fiber. They're not high in calories. There's absolutely no point of consuming them unless you enjoy the taste. Ungodly reason. Just kidding, it's for a good reason. Okay, so two things I always use together. Rao's marinara sauce, the best. Like Rao's stays killing it. And then I also get ground bison. Is it Rouse or is it Rayo's? I'm a, I don't know. That doesn't Rouse doesn't sound right. I could be wrong. But again, she's really good at combining conventional crap with decent stuff. You know, that ground bison is something I would eat from the market, but that tomato sauce like come come on, just get like a glass jarred organic tomato paste, anything. Anything's better than that which is 90% lean, 10% fat, grass-fed, all of the great stuff. Um, this <laughs> She's reading the label. She doesn't even know what she bought. This is so ridiculous. What I make chili out of. I Basically, I make a bolognese pasta without the pastas. I mean, that's a pretty good explanation of what hot girl summer is. Girls thinking they know what they want that's gonna make them happy, but in reality, their brains don't work. So I'll do this with a little bit of feta on it, I bring it to work, I eat it almost every day. So I had to get that. More yogurt, lemons and limes, a necessity. We've got our unsweetened almond milk for smoothies. I really don't know what's going on here. It, it's like, I, I don't get it. Why would you buy those animal foods and then buy almond milk? That doesn't make any sense. Why you're transitioning between like the worst vegan crap, conventional wisdom nonsense, and then organic animal foods. I really have no idea. It's coffee, protein shakes. By the way, guys, I do realize this grocery haul is a bit more ratchet than usual, but I definitely wanted to share with you guys how- Oh my God, what is that? What is that? I seem to be covered in dirt for some reason. I wanted to show you guys how we get back on track like right away when we get back from a trip, but also try to make it fun, you know, like find fun new things. So more berries, blackberries, which are great. Strawberries, which are super low in sugar and are great. I don't really have anything against organic berries. Uh, they are very expensive. Uh, they usually aren't in season, like even when you buy them, they don't taste that good because they're not ripe. So, you know, you can incorporate them if you enjoy them. You know, the frozen stuff does have some processing issues, but generally speaking, like frozen organic blueberries, in most cases do taste better than the fresh ones. Great nighttime snack, blueberries, all organic, of course. And then like those three plastic containers of organic berries, I guarantee you cost her at least $15, maybe even 25 Ridiculously expensive. Mushrooms, you wanna make sure when you're getting mushrooms, make sure they're organic and high quality because mushrooms absorb everything. So you don't wanna- So you have no clue what you're talking. <laughs> we did a video on mushrooms. You kinda wanna get shiitake. There's other mushrooms that are okay, but they're usually very rare and expensive like chanterelle. Uh, Baby Bella, Portobello, all of those are in the same family of mushroom and they have certain compounds you want to avoid. Check my video on mushrooms if you want to know more about that. Any bad stuff in there? Oh my gosh, another sharp cheddar, and this one's British, imported from England, so it's bound to be good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, yeah, hey, she's eating cheese. It's an animal food. It has vitamins. There's certainly downsides to conventional cheese. The stuff from the UK is probably better. But you, know, you guys can watch my videos on dairy and cheese if you want to try to 
figure out the specific nuances and what's important in quality product versus regular product. And last but not least, we stopped by Irwan, my favorite grocery store ever. They pretty much just have like really niche health products. Like, well, they have everything, but it's very expensive. So we tried to just get like- Very expensive. $25 worth of berries, which is like 500 calories, isn't very expensive. Like if we want to stop for a smoothie, they have good sushi, they have good keto items. So for specialty health products, that's the place to go. So we did stop and they had new keto baked goods, which always excites me. Look at this like strawberry bread. How fun. I can't wait to try that. And then these chocolate cupcakes that are keto. So yeah, very excited about these. The problem with this keto stuff is they take a conventional like almond flour, coconut flour, something that's already so full of chemicals, and then they add a bunch of chemical sweeteners and flavorings and artificial stuff to make it taste reasonable while being below a certain carbohydrate content. Hey, it might be low calories, it might be low carbs, you might enjoy it, you might lose some weight eating it, but you're poisoning your liver and your body these purchases so now i have to put all this away we've pretty much cleared out the fridge i mean she's kind of pretty and she eats okay the rest of this video is her just eating the food she just bought so there's no real reason to go into that and i really don't know what to think of this i feel like it's just a sponsored chill video because she has no clue what she's talking about she's showing products that are all owned by very, very large companies that are incredibly contrasting. Like who buys Applegate organic bacon and then almond milk? If you actually knew what you were doing, you would never buy those two things. And even if you didn't know what you were doing and were going with conventional health wisdom, you wouldn't buy both of those things. It just, it has to be just like a shill sponsorship hey, show these products on your channel that I, I really don't have another explanation for it. I, I honestly don't. Maybe her boyfriend is, uh, is making some of the food choices and she's just eating them and doesn't remember why, but hey, she looks pretty good. Hopefully she stays healthy. Hopefully she uh, improves her diet in some ways. And hopefully you guys learned a little bit from this video and had some fun. Uh, so thanks for joining me. If you have any video suggestions or anything you guys would like me to critique, please let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so that they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.